right? See the choices here? I'm, I'm sacrificing something if I try to just make it simple mapping. When I do this, my, part of my job is to help people do this or do it for them. I look at this and I say, I don't want to leave collector 2 out. That could be important information. So I do a whole series of manipulations of the data before it even comes to this point so that when I come to this point, I have a concept of recorded record number that is the combination of the two. And I realize at this point I've confused two things. <laughs> Sorry. Record number is a collector number and I'm confusing it with collectors. There are two collectors. That's what recorded by is. Recorded by is collector. So everything I've said just now about collect record number and why I keep stumbling on it probably is because it really should be recorded by. So recorded by really should be the combination of collector one and collector two. I can't do that in IPT, so I should do it outside if I don't want to lose information. Sorry about that confusion, but I hope that makes sense now. Let me just show you what I meant here. So this is a bad solution, right? But that's what I'd be limited to, the way things are, because I lose collector two. True, I've put a collector in the recorded by field where it's supposed to be, but I've lost information. So ideally, I should go back outside of IPT and create a recorded by field and populate it with collector one and collector two. Question? Yeah, I just want to check if I'm following. So we can hear. I just want to check if I'm following. Um. Should be okay without the, without the camera, just for the question, right? I'm thinking of a situation where my data, I've collected um, in a particular species of insect has been collected by two different collectors and that's recorded in the original data. Um, is it a scenario where I create another column that combines them, like maybe uh, I can say collected during what what exp expedition, then I give that a name so that when it's on recorded by, I can just select recorded by that 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 expedition, which combines all the collectors. Yes, you could do that. Publishing it that way, you would have the name of the expedition, but you will still have lost the name of the collectors. What if you put it in as a link that gives you? the whole story about what happened and who was involved. Then you can do that also and you have great information but it's not directly accessible in the archive. Right? And you've changed the meaning of recorded by. Because that's really supposed to be the collector names. Right? So you, you're, you're providing a path to the information but you're not providing the actual information in the term where it's supposed to be. Which brings me to a question. Yeah. How do you combine Right. So in this case, because we don't want to lose collectors, they all, they're probably all relevant in one way or another, what we need to do, and this, this comes back to the question of design of your database, you have no real reason in your own database to have the combined collectors. If you did, it would be there already, presumably. Mm -hmm. So this is a case where your needs don't match Darwin Core. But you can create what Darwin Core needs easily enough for the purposes of publishing. Because you take your original data and you export it with an extra column that you construct from the two collectors. Right? So that's what I was talking about. When I'm helping people to publish, that's the kind of thing I'm doing all the time. So I will create, in my case, what I will do is use Microsoft Access. And I'll create a query in Microsoft Access. And in that query, I will create a column, a, a virtual column, doesn't really exist in my database, but I'll create one that says recorded by. And in that, I will construct it. I will say, if there is a collector one, use that. If there's not, put collector two. If there is a collector one, put that. And if there's a collector two, put a comma and add collector two. So now I've constructed the combination. 
and I made it in a field called recorded by. And that's something that I'm putting in a, in a text file or something, Excel spreadsheet, that I will then use to publish here. Because now I have a recorded by field that has exactly what it should have in it. I would do it here if, it allow, if the IPT allowed me to do that, but it doesn't allow me to create formulas or functions like that. So I have to do it outside. Is that clear? Yeah, it, it's, it's a database thing. <laughs> but that's what we're doing this week. I have a question in the back, so I'll go back there. Uh, please uh, excuse me. I I don't understand. Who is collector one? Is me or administrator? Okay, this is a really good question because it comes to a very important point that I have to deal with all the time. So the question is, who's collector one? What's the meaning of that field in the database? Okay, that's not my database. I don't actually know what collector one means. If I'm doing my job right as the person to help map to Darwin Core, I need to talk to the collections managers and ask them, what does that mean? And what is collector two? And if I'm right about them, if I have if those collectors are as I have just described, then my solution is the correct one. But if it means something else, then perhaps I would have done the wrong thing if I didn't ask what they mean. So I really need to communicate with the person who knows the database structure to know, is that meaning the same as the Darwin core meaning? Now, if you are the database manager, you know that already and you can make these mappings without having to consult anyone. In my case, I really should consult to make sure that I'm doing it right. And it happens all the time. Does that answer the question? If not, ask again and I'll try to get it right. But I think what John's saying is that normally you would be looking at the mapping, but also maybe on another screen, be looking at the actual content or talking with the person who created the data set. Because you're right, collector one and collector two, is that the name of the collector, is that the collector number? It's not entirely clear until you look at the data set. Will it help to look at the data set? We can do that. Shall I? Would you like me to look at it? No. Would it help? Please. Is it a difference? Uh, between uh, a collector you have in the label of uh, the herbarium specimen and uh, the collector of uh, the, the database. Uh -huh. same, the same thing applies. In, in this case, no. In this particular data set, I already know that collector one is the first person on the label. And collector two is the second one on the label. They have nothing to do with what's happening in the, the herbarium. Why don't you show them the data instead to get a feel? I'll show the data. I'll show the data. But, but that's basically the situation. They're both people who were in the field. Mm -hmm. So because uh, uh, in, the, in the herbarium level, we can have uh, a lot of names uh, who was in the field to collect, yeah. but in Bhutan you have, uh, uh, we are talking about a principal, a principal uh, collector, yeah. and uh, others are the second one. Yeah. So in the, in the database, when you want to put the, uh, the, the, the collector, you need to, to have the first collector or the principal collector mm -hmm. and you can put it uh, under the, the collector one mm -hmm. and the other others 
will be in the second or other others collector. Mm -hmm. So in your case, ideally, you would like to see this information with recorded by having one collector only. Yeah. So and then somewhere else, yeah. a list of all the other ones. Okay. Right? You, you can do that. In which case, this mapping is what you would want. But we still haven't done all the rest of the collectors anywhere else. I will explain in French. Sure. Same contact clarify something. Yeah. Um, usually, usually if I'm in the field and I'm a botanist and Jean is also a botanist, we we get to a plant, for example, Coropidendron sanguinum, and we see it in flowers. We want to vouch for this placement. Now, two of us will decide. Are we are we using my should we use my collection number or your collection number? Mm -hmm. If Jean says okay, Moses use your collection number, then on the label now it will be Sangi M, which is my 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 collection code, and the collection number will be, for example, will be Sangi M and Jean Claude three thousand five hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. Now in the herbarium. Um, 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 the person that is entering the data will know that okay, Sangi M was with Jean Claude, but this this number since Sangi is the first person, this number three thousand six hundred and fifty is a collection number of Sangi. Okay, usually if I have two three um, field assistants, there is there is a column that I used to put with with which means that okay. that that I'm yeah. with Jean Claude. Yeah. We are the main botanist. And I have two assistants, maybe Mambo Peter and okay. Etukan. So, so now you realize, okay, if you are interested in this in, in this particular species, yeah. you want to get the fruit, and you, you may, maybe you call, you come to Monemba or you call somebody in Coral National Park and say, hey, I need this this number. How do I see Moses? Oh, sorry, Moses is in New York. Oh, Jean, Jean is in Dubai. Then now it's easy for you to ask, okay. He collected his plan on this day with Mambo Peter. Do you know Mambo Peter? Then they will tell, oh, Mambo lives around the corner. Mambo now can locate you to this particular plan. So if you, if you put this type of corona, it makes referencing very easy if you want to get information in later time. Mm -hmm. So, I think more discussion? Let me, let me make a comment. Recall that when I first mentioned Darwin Core a few hours ago, I talked about the essence of the biodiversity record, not the full content. Now, you guys are mentioning some very critical things about, in this case, plant data, but each herbarium and each collector will have slightly different customs. The purpose of Darwin Core is not to capture comprehensively everything. Yeah. But it can. It can. It can. So now, but the question is, strength. how shall we do it? Yeah. yeah, but its real strength is getting that essence. And so bear in mind, you know, I've got things that go into my catalog. Sometimes I've pulled out the heart of the bird and weighed the heart because I was interested in flight mechanics. And those are not measurements that I'm necessarily going to put if I'm trying to share the essence of the record. So yes, we can do an exhaustive description, or we can do something that's more the, the critical points, which are tax on place, 